dear students welcome to my english class in this session i am going to give a brief introduction to essays and short stories in english which will be very useful for the first semester students of optional english so students are you ready shall we begin the class before going into the details of the concept essay let's first try to understand its meaning and definition the word essay is a verb which means an effort or an attempt or to give a try the shorter oxford dictionary defines an essay as i quote a short piece of writing on a particular theme or subject in prose and quote According to Merriam Webster's dictionary an essay is a quote an analytic or interpretative literary composition usually dealing with its subject from a limited or personal point of view and quote to sum up these definitions we can say that an essay is a short piece of prose which can be written on any theme and there is no limitation to its themes and it can be written on a wide variety of themes essay is a very important genre in modern prose writing and how it emerged as such an important genre is very interesting to understand so first we shall try to look into its history of emergence the writings of ancient greco roman scholars like cicero seneca and plutarch resemble the modern form of essay the pioneer of present form of essay writing is the 16th century french thinker michel de montaigne who named his writings as essays in french in the year 1580 when we come to the english literature it is francis bacon who is considered as the father of essays by and he was the first to start writing modern essays in the year 1597 the famous elizabethan dramatist ben jonson used the word essayist in the year 1609 and writers like robert burton sir thomas brown sir william cornwallis are the pioneers of english essays so now let us look into the nature or style of writing essays essays can be broadly classified into many kinds or many types like descriptive analytical expository argumentative critical and narrative essays based on their structure and narrative styles literary essays are usually analytical and critical in style and such essays are called formal essays general essays are often descriptive and narrative in nature and hence they are considered as informal essays but how do we classify essays as formal and informal this classification is made on certain characteristic features of the essays so now we shall see this characteristic features so formal essays are characterized by brevity so they are usually brief with a serious purpose and the author employs a dignified style there will be logical organization and presentation of thoughts in formal essays whereas in informal essays the personal element constitutes the major part 
so the author uses his or her individual experience as the main theme and humor plays an important role in informal essays the author employs graceful style and informal essays can be written on a wide variety of themes so informal essays can be written on anything and everything as there is no particular theme for informal essays and there are many uh, many important essays in english and some of the essays are francis bacon so whenever we speak of english essays the first name that comes to our mind is francis bacon who is considered the father of english essay and his significant essays include of studies of travel of truth etc joseph addison yet another famous essays is known for his humorous the lady's headdress and the fortune hunter similarly we have richard steen samuel johnson william hazlitt who is known for his informal essay on going journey and charles lamb who is considered the prince of english essays is yet another famous english essays and t s eliot the nobel laureate is known for his formal and critical literary essays like tradition and individual talent the metaphysical poets etc so i hope dear students you have understood this brief introductory note on essays and essay is a very important genre in modern prose literature now let's move on to the next genre short story short story is at another very popular form of literature which has gained significance in the 19th and 20th century short story is a short piece of prose fiction or narrative that can be read in a single sitting according to hedge wells noted author a short story is a quote a short story is or should be a simple thing it aims at producing one single vivid effect it has to seize the attention at the outset and never relaxing gather it together more and more until the climax is reached it must explode and finish before interruption occurs or fatigue sets in unquote so short story is as the title itself suggests a very short piece of prose and it is usually narrative in structure and a short story is popular because of its length limited number of characters and simple plot which makes it endearing to the readers so now let us try to understand the history of short story short story is altogether not a very new genre in literature for short stories can be found in the great epics and mythologies written in ancient times short story formed a very significant part of oral literary tradition the indian epics like the ramayana and mahabharata then the bible many ancient greek and roman legends like the iliad and odyssey 
have many short stories in them. The short stories were present in the form of oral traditional literature like legends, fairy tales, folk tales, fables, anecdotes, etc. It is because of some of its characteristic features that the short stories have gained much popularity. A short story is characterized by a simple plot and actions or events which are very easy to understand. As the name itself suggests, a short story is very short in length, uh, ranging from one page to not more than 15 to 20 pages. It consists of few characters Although there is no agreed rule on the number of characters, many writers employ only 2 to 6 characters, usually less than 10. And the language, the prose language. Unlike ancient writers, modern short story writers use simple and plain prose language which is very easy to understand. And we have many popular short story writers in English like Charles Dickens, Oxford, Oxford Wilde, H.G. Wells, Edgar Allan Poe, O. Henry and Somerset Mom who were master storytellers. And we have Russian writers like Anton Chekhov and Leo Tolstoy. And we have our own Indian authors like Rabindranath Tagore and R.K. Narayan, whose short stories are widely read and enjoyed even to this day. So I hope, dear students, you have understood this short and brief introductory session on the literary genres like essays and short stories. So here is a brief summary of what we have learned so far. We have learned the meaning and definition of essay and short story, the history of essay and short story. We have understood the nature and style of essays, the characteristic features of short stories and so we have also learned about some important essays and short story writers. So dear students, I hope you have understood this introductory session. In the next class, we will meet again with some important English essays. So thank you dear students.